Hello everyone, welcome to iExamB. I am Neha, your law faculty. In this video, we'll be moving ahead with our model series discussion, which we have already started. Or this video, I will continue with companies that are related to this. But before that, do remember to subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon so that you can stay tuned and stay updated. अगर आपको कोई भी क्वेश्चंस या क्वेरीज हो आप हमें कांटेक्ट कर सकते हो टू दिस ईमेल आईडी और यू कैन कॉल अस ऑन दिस नंबर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस डू रिमेंबर टू विजिट आवर वेबसाइट वेयर इन यू विल गेट डिटेल्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द वेरियस अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स एज आई ऑलरेडी मेंशन विल बी गोइंग अहेड विद अ मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज डिस्कशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कंपनीज एक्ट एंड अंडर द कंपनीज एक्ट विल बी मूविंग अहेड विद आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज प्रोस्पेक्टस बट बिफोर दैट व्हाट एक्चुअली इज अ प्रोस्पेक्टस विल बी लुकिंग ऑन टू अ if i have with respect to that so if we talk about prospectus so you can say it is any document koi bhi aisa document hai jiske wo jo hai company goes ahead and uses that particular document to issue its securities to the public ab jab public ko securities issue karti hai company so it needs to give a lot of details with respect to the company its management then how all the proceeds the money with respect to the issue of the securities which the company will be getting how it will be used what are the risk factors involved and many other information with respect to that the company needs to tell to the public so prospectus is that document which the company uses to give all these details to the public with respect to the issue of securities okay so it is you can say a document which is actually issued or it is described as a prospectus which actually has been defined in the companies act as such so now moving ahead with our uh, various m Use, we can see that the very first question is a prospectus shall not be a valid prospectus if it has been issued you have the various options within 90 days from the date on which a copy is delivered to the registrar less than 90 days after the date on which a copy is delivered to the registrar more than 90 days after the date on which the copy is delivered to the registrar by the company after the date on which a copy is delivered to the registrar for filing by the company without prior approval of the central government so these are the various options which are very near and confusing you can say so you have to be very thorough again aapke understanding mein what a prospectus is what is the validity of the prospectus and all and the correct option with respect to this particular question is c which is more than 90 days after the date on which a copy is delivered to the registrar for filing so any prospectus will not be considered to be a valid prospectus if the company goes ahead and issues it more than 90 days after the date on which it was actually delivered to the registrar for filing theek hai is se related provision jo hai section 26 of the companies act mein diya hai that is relating to matters to be stated in the prospectus and subsection a tells that no prospectus shall be valid if it is issued more than 90 days after the date on which copy is delivered to the registrar so the validity is for a period of 90 days then the next question is a private company can issue shares through so we know that the public company the private company they all go ahead and issue shares and that they do for their funding purpose they need funds to run their business and all so we know that whether it is a public company or a private company it issues its shares and that issuance of the shares is done by the company because usko funds chahiye hota hai to run its business okay ab ye jo private companies hoti hain public companies hoti hain companies act provide karta hai various means various methods through which these different types of companies they can go ahead and issue their various shares okay and raise funds so there are different methods for each of these companies which they can use and go ahead with respect to the issuance of shares ab is particular question ki baat kare to ye question hai ki private company issue kar sakti hai shares through which of these means public offer bonus issue right issue either b or c all the above and the correct option with respect to this question is d either b or c which is either right issue or bonus issue section 23 that talks about public offer and private placement a private company may issue securities by way of right issue or bonus issue through private placement so basically a private company ke paas option hai ki wo bonus issue or right issue and private placement ka methods adopt karke it can go ahead and issue its shares or securities on the other hand agar hum 
पब्लिक कंपनी की बात करें कैन गो हेड बाई पब्लिक ऑफर प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट एंड द थर्ड ऑप्शन इज आदर बाई राइट इशू और बोनस इशू सो प्राइवेट कंपनी के पास दो मेथड होते हैं राइट इशू और बोनस इशू एंड प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट वेर इन टू अलेक्ट ग्रुप ऑफ पर्सन दे गो हेड एंड दे केन इशू द शेयर ओके नाउ पब्लिक कंपनी की बात करें सो दे हैव वन मोर ऑप्शन देन द प्राइवेट कंपनीज एंड दैट इज ऑफ पब्लिक ऑफर विच ऑल्सो कैन बी यूटिलाइज बाई द पब्लिक कंपनीज टू गो हेड एंड इशू देर शेयर और सिक्योरिटीज एंड फॉर मेकिंग दिस पब्लिक ऑफर द यूज ऑफ प्रोस्पेक्टिस इज डन जो हम डिस्कस करें तो प्रोस्पेक्टिस क्या होता है क्यों जरूरत होता है सो जब एक पब्लिक कंपनी पब्लिक ऑफर कर रही है और उसे डिटेल्स देना है विच आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन सो दैट पर्टिकुलर डॉक्यूमेंट प्रोस्पेक्टिस इज यूज बाय द कंपनी टू गो हेड एंड मेक पब्लिक ऑफर Now, question number three is as per the definition of prospectus under the Companies Act, a prospectus means and includes. And the correct option for this question is B, which is A or B and C. So that is the prospectus means and includes a shelf prospectus or a adherent prospectus and any document which is described or issued as such. Okay. So section two, clause seventy defines prospectus and it says any document described or issued as a prospectus. Okay. जो हमारा थर्ड ऑप्शन है एंड इट इंक्लूड्स रेड हियर इन प्रोस्पेक्टर्स और शेल्फ प्रोस्पेक्टर्स ओके और एनी नोटिस सर्कुलर एडवर्टीजमेंट और अदर डॉक्यूमेंट व्हिच इज यूज बाय द कंपनी फॉर इनवाइटिंग ऑफर्स फ्रॉम द पब्लिक फॉर सब्सक्रिप्शन और परचेज ऑफ एनी सिक्योरिटीज सो दिस इज व्हाट अ प्रोस्पेक्टस इज नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 इज टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू रिलेटिंग टू रेड हियर इन प्रोस्पेक्टर्स सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोस्पेक्टस वी आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट एंड द correct option with respect to this is d which is a b and c all the three they are correct so a red herring prospectus it is issued prior to the issue of prospectus jo bhi obligations hota hai jo ki applicable hota hai prospectus pe the same is applicable for the red herring prospectus also and that is required to be filed with the registrar at least 3 days prior to the opening of the subscription list and the offer and agar ekdam simple mein hum samjhe ki red herring prospectus kya hota hai so basically it is That type of prospectus जहाँ पे की पूरा complete information या particulars या details जो है actually नहीं होता है that would be with respect to the price of the securities जो भी offer कर रही है company or it could be the quantum of the security so either of that will be missing in this red herring prospectus अगर red herring prospectus की बात करें तो section thirty two is dealing with that and it mentions a company proposing to make an offer of securities may issue a red herring prospectus prior to the issue of prospectus Company proposing to issue a red herring prospectus shall file it with the registrar at least three days prior to the opening of the subscription list and the offer, and it carries the same obligations as are applicable to a prospectus. And if in case there is any variation between the red herring prospectus and the prospectus, it has to be highlighted as variation in the prospectus. So basically, when you go and read in detail, आपको red herring prospectus के लिए जो सबसे important बात समझनी है वो ये है कि red herring prospectus जो होता है बेसिकली सारे कंप्लीट डिटेल्स जो है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू यू कैन से द प्राइस और द क्वांटम या क्वांटिटी ऑफ द सिक्योरिटीज जो कंपनी ऑफर करने वाली है उसमें जो है वो इंफॉर्मेशन पूरे कंप्लीट नहीं होता है वो मिसिंग होता है एंड विच द कंपनी गोज अहेड एंड डिसाइड्स ऑन अ लेटर स्टेज बेसिकली देर इज अ प्राइस बैंड विच इज यूज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोस्पेक्टर्स एंड द बुक बिल्डिंग मेथड दैट इज ऑल्सो बीन यूटिलाइज एंड देन फाइनली द कंपनी गोज अहेड एंड डिसाइड द प्राइस depending upon various factors now moving on to our very next question that is the correct statement relating to a shelf prospectus are now this is again another kind of prospectus so prospectus ki agar hum baat kare to jitne bhi aspects and what a prospectus is the different types of prospectus be it red herring shelf prospectus or any other all these are very important so now if we talk about the shelf prospectus so which of these statement is correct with respect to a shelf prospectus and the correct option is d which is both a And B, so only A and B is correct, which mentions no need for a separate prospectus for each offering. An information memorandum is required to be filed for subsequent issues. So shelf prospectus is basically वैसा prospectus जो कि companies जो multiple issues करती हैं और frequent issue of the securities etc. वैसी company इस shelf prospectus का use करती है wherein once they go ahead with the issue utilizing this particular prospectus at the subsequent stages or later stages they own 
only require an information memorandum where certain details are required to be given and they can go ahead with the issue of the securities. Again, proper prospectus is not required to be issued by them. So, with respect to that, shelf prospectus jo hai, use karti hai, companies jo ki multiple issues karne wali hai aur wahan pe wo, within a period of one year, they can go ahead and make multiple issues without every time going ahead with a separate prospectus at each of the offerings. Wahan pe subsequent offerings ke same information memorandum wo use karte hai aur details dete hai with respect to any change that has occurred from the very first issue when the company made and the subsequent issues. So section 31 is talking about shelf prospectus. So you can see any class of companies may file a shelf prospectus with registrar at the stage of the first offer of securities which shall indicate a period not exceeding one year as the period of validity of such prospectus which shall commence from the date of opening of the first offer of security. So shelf prospectus ki validity one year hoti hai and in respect of second or subsequent offer of such securities issued during the period of validity of that prospectus no further prospectus is required. Dekhi, no further prospectus required. Hai. And so a company filing a shelf prospectus shall be required to file an information memorandum or is information memorandum mein kya hoga? all the material facts relating to new charges created, changes in the financial position of the company and which have occurred between the first offer jaisa maine aapko bataya tha first offer jo company ne securities ka kiya tha or the previous offer of securities and the succeeding offers of securities and the changes now moving ahead with our sixth question which is talking about what is an abridged prospectus so again aap dekh sakte ho various types of prospectus related ye questions hain which is very important and abridged prospectus is what a summary prospectus a prospectus which enables an issuer to make a series of issues a prospectus which is actually a memorandum containing the salient features of a prospectus so what is an abridged prospectus and the next options are both a and c all a to c and the correct option is d which is both a and c that is it is a summary prospectus and it is a memorandum containing the salient features of a prospectus so basically is the definition of section 2 clause 1 may dekh sakte ho companies act mein which means memorandum containing such salient features of the prospectus as may be specified by the CB in this behalf. So it is basically a document, a summary of the prospectus, a memorandum which contains all the salient features of a prospectus. Because a prospectus is a very lengthy document. Hota hai. There are a lot of details given. It would be more than 400 pages, 500 pages. So what actually is required ki companies jab bhi application form issue karti hai, us application form ke saath ye abridged prospectus jo ki summary hota hai prospectus ka. All important details, salient features of the prospectus which is very important with respect to the issue. Those have to be provided in this summary form which is abridged prospectus. Now moving on to our next question that is question number 7. What is the number of select group of persons who can be identified by the board for offer of securities or invitation to subscribe securities under private placement? So private placement it has a method hai. Jaha pe ki companies jo hai, they approach a select group of persons okay, which are actually identified by the board and to those select group of persons they offer their securities or they invite to subscribe their securities. Now, this question is asked, what number is the select group of persons which the board will identify? Karegi. And the correct option for this is D, which is 200. Section 42 is the provision. Hai. A private placement shall be made only to a select group of persons identified by the board. Here, this is important. Hai. Those persons who are identified by the board, they are referred to as identified persons whose number shall not exceed 50 or such higher number as may be prescribed. So, in the rules, it has been prescribed as 200. Question number 8 that talks about the amount payable on application on every security shall dash of the security or such other percentage or amount as the SEB by regulation specify in this behalf. And you have been provided the various options and the correct option for this is C which is not be less than 5% of the nominal amount of the security. So, section 39 which talks about allotment of security 
अथॉरिटीज बाय द कंपनी वहां पे एक इम्पोर्टेंट कंडीशन ये है कि जो भी अमाउंट पेबल होगा एप्लीकेशन पे एवरी सिक्योरिटी के वो अमाउंट जो है इट शुड नॉट बी लेस देन फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द नॉमिनल अमाउंट ऑफ द सिक्योरिटी मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच टॉक्स अबाउट अ कंपनी प्रपोजिंग टू इश्यू अ रेड हियरिंग प्रोस्पेक्ट शैल फाइल इट विद द रजिस्ट्रा डैश टू द ओपनिंग ऑफ द सब्सक्रिप्शन लिस्ट एंड द ऑफर एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ए विच इज एट लीस्ट थ्री डेज प्रायर सो थ्री डेज प्रायर टू द ओपनिंग ऑफ द सब्सक्रिप्शन लिस्ट एंड द ऑफर सेक्शन थर्टी टू में इसके बारे में प्रोविजन दिया हुआ है एंड आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज आर लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टू डेज डिस्कशन इज वॉट आर द कंडीशन रिक्वायर टू बी फुलफिल्ड टू बी एविडेंस डेट एन अलॉटमेंट ऑफ और एन अग्रीमेंट टू अलॉट सिक्योरिटीज वॉज मेड विद व्यू टू द सिक्योरिटीज बींग ऑफर्ड फॉर सेल टू द पब्लिक एंड यू हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड द वेरियस ऑप्शन एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस इज बी विच इज आई ए और बी सो ए क्या है ऑफर ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज और एनी ऑफ दैट फॉर सेल टू द पब्लिक वॉज मेड विद इन सिक्स मंथ आफ्टर द अलॉटमेंट और अग्रीमेंट टू अलॉट एंड द सेकेंड इज एट द डेट वेन द ऑफर वॉज मेड द होल कंसिडरेशन टू बी रिसीव बाय द कंपनी इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ द सिक्योरिटीज हैज नॉट बीन रिसीव बाय इट सो सेक्शन ट्वेंटी फाइव विच टॉक्स अबाउट डॉक्यूमेंट कंटेनिंग ऑफर ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज फॉर सेल टू बी डीम्ड प्रोस्पेक्ट सो वेन अ डॉक्यूमेंट विच इज कंटेनिंग ऑफ डिटेल्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ऑफर ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज फॉर सेल इट विल बी डीम्ड टू बी इट विल बी कंसिडर टू बी अ प्रोस्पेक्ट सो अगर ये दोनों में से कोई भी कंडीशन फुलफिल होता है पहला कंडीशन क्या है ऑफर ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज और एनी ऑफ देम फॉर सेल वॉज मेड टू द पब्लिक विद इन सिक्स मंथ आफ्टर द अलॉटमेंट या अग्रीमेंट टू अलॉटमेंट के सिक्स मंथ के विद इन में अगर ऑफर किया गया हो सेल के लिए पब्लिक को और आइदर ऑफ दीज कंडीशन हैज टू बी फुलफिल्ड इट इज नॉट एंड ओके एंड द डेट वेन द ऑफर वॉज मेड जो होल कंसिडरेशन है जो कंपनी को रिसीव होनी चाहिए थी इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ दो सिक्योरिटीज कंपनी को वो रिसीव नहीं हुई है तो उस केस में उस पर्टिकुलर डॉक्यूमेंट को जिससे ऑफर किया जा रहा है सिक्योरिटीज फॉर सेल टू द पब्लिक इट विल बी कंसिडर टू बी द डीम प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ द कंपनी विच अलॉटेड और अग्री टू अलॉट द सिक्योरिटीज टू दिस इज आर लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टूडे डिस्कशन बट दीज ऑल क्वेश्चन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द प्रोस्पेक्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो विथ दिस आई एंड टूडेज वीडियो एंड आर डिस्कशन ऑफ मॉक टेस्ट सो स्टेट यून टू आर चैनल एंड स्टे अपडेटेड